Not drinking enough water can cause fatigue, muscle cramps or dizziness. But drinking too much of it can also give you some problems. Let's discuss them on this video. You probably have heard or even learned on school that around 65%, sometimes 70% of our body is made by water. So in order for our body to function properly, we need to constantly keep giving them water. The water has to be replaced because we lost most of it through our kidneys, through our breath and through our urine. But like I was saying, you can have too much of it. When you drink too much water, you can get on a state that is called water intoxication. And water intoxication is thus the eruption of the brain function due drinking too much of it. Drinking too much water causes the water goes to inside the cells, which make the cells swell and that starts to cause us some problem, especially in our brain. When our brain cells expand, that causes some internal pressure in our skull, which I don't have experience but probably is not a good thing. Some symptoms of drinking too much water can be things like having headache, nausea or vomiting. And some other symptoms can be for example having high blood pressure, double vision, confusion and some others. But don't worry that much because the chances of us being dehydrated compared to have water intoxication is just abysmal. To put things in perspective for you. For you to have water intoxication there are two things that have to happen. One of them is drinking too much water. So okay, how much water is too much? Our kidneys can only eliminate around 0.8 to 1 liters of water per hour. That's the high gain that you should aim to drink per hour. If you make the counts, that gives you a range between 20 and 28 liters of water that you can drink per day. So like I was telling you, it's very hard that you will have water intoxication. The problem is that you can have too much of it in a short period of time. Water intoxication is not that common, but usually happens to soldiers and elite athletes. And that's because some of them have to drink large amount of waters in a very short period of time. And because they don't control it somehow, some of them can have brain damage, go to coma, and sometimes people really end up dead. If I'm not wrong, in 2002 there was a marathonist that uh, died because of water intoxication. But that's just a case that, again, is not frequent. So here you have the two factors that can cause you maybe to have water intoxication drink too much water and having to account that you are drinking too much water in a short period of time. Because remember, if you drink less than one liter per hour, most likely you will be fine. That's what I have for this video. If you have any question that you would like to have answered on this channel, please leave a comment below and if you like the video, hit it with the like button. Hope to see you on the next video. Take care.